In our organization, we may have mobile devices, and in the Exchange Admin Center, I have the ability to manage these mobile devices. Now, the chances are in your organization, you're gonna have a lot more devices than I might have in my organization, and currently with this being my lab environment, I don't really have anything connected through to it. It's running as a load of virtual machines sitting on a box I've got underneath my desk here. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna to come to the mobile tab, we're going to go to our mobile device access and what we're going to do here is just set up the access settings. So I click on the edit button. So connection settings here, when a mobile device that isn't managed by a rule of personal exemption connects to the exchange server, we have some options. We can allow access, we can block access completely, or we can quarantine and let us decide later. So what I'm going to do here just for purpose of this demo is quarantine. Then what we've got is we've got the quarantine notification email message. So if somebody does try to connect through here and the device is quarantined, what I want to happen here is I want my, in my case, my administrator account to receive the email. But as you can see, we can select any user off the list. Now we've done that. The next thing to do here is just include some text messages to be sent to the users whose mobile device is then being quarantined. So all I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to send out a little email message to say that your device hasn't been approved for use within the organization. And please contact me on extension 21. So we'll save that off. Other things we've got down here as well is we've also got the ability to create device access rules. Now, like I said, I don't have anything currently connected. So if I just click on my plus button here, if I just browse through my family, I don't really have anything in place here. So let's say I did have an iPad connected. I'd have the iPad as part of, or Apple as part of the family within here. So if we just click cancel here, what we could also do as well is specify, let's say we did specify iPad up at the top here and I only want to block, let's say, iPad 2s. I could say block only this iPad model here. So I'll just click cancel at this point here. And as you can see, you can have multiple device access rules. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration at looking at configuring mobile device access. Thank you.